The phrase film noir was first coined in 1946 by a group of French critics to describe the emerging movement of mainly black and white Hollywood films with dark, pessimistic themes and signature motifs such as alienated anti-heroes, rain-slicked streets, dark shadows and seductive femme fatalist. Tellingly, many of these craftsmen were of European extraction and brought their expressionist influences with them, in turn influencing generations of filmmakers right up to the present day. Number 6. The Asphalt Jungle, John Houston, 1950. Definitive caper movie involving the planning, preparation and execution of a jewelry heist that goes wrong. Told from the criminal's perspective in a semi-documentary style, the asphalt jungle ushered in a whole new type of realism and was hugely influential. Number 5. In a Lonely Place, Nicholas Ray, 1951. Humphrey Bogart gives his most ambiguously compelling performance as the washed-up, near-psychotic writer suspected of murder. Bogart's volcanic relationship with noir's greatest good-bad girl Gloria Graham is the core of a film that contains the genre's most fatalistic and memorable coda as Bogart reflects, I was born when she kissed me. I died when she left me. I lived a few weeks while she loved me. Number 4. The Maltese Falcon, John Houston, 1941. From the Dashi Lamet novel, Houston's first movie as director is the granddaddy of noir thanks to a sparkling cast, moody lighting and brilliant screenplay and direction. The Byzantine plot revolves around the search for the prized artifact of the film's title and makes for wonderful entertainment. Bogart's Sam Spade became the model for the cynical yet romantic tough guy anti-hero that would populate noir for years to come. Number 3. Sunset Boulevard, 1950. Some movie scholars don't think of this as noir, more black comedy meets gothic melodrama, but consider the following. The film opens with a dead body face down in a swimming pool. Said dead guy is narrating the movie. Said dead guy uses aging woman to further his career. Aging woman uses dead guy for sex and then kills him when he rejects her. Number 2. The Big Sleep, Howard Hawks, 1946. Justly famous and celebrated adaption of Raymond Chandler's convoluted novel featuring Humphrey Bogart as many people's ideal Philip Marlowe. Chandler's core story, peerless sexual innuendo between Bogart and Lauren Bacall that somehow slipped past the censors, and Hawks's mastery of the medium combine for an American classic that in Hawks's words holds out its hand for a right turn signal, then takes a left. Number 1. Double Indemnity, Billy Wilder, 1944. From the James M. Kane novel and featuring taut direction and a sparkling script from Wilder and Raymond Chandler, Double Indemnity set the standard for the genre for years to come. Fred McMurray is brilliantly cast against type in this landmark film as the cocky insurance salesman seduced by quintessential femme fatale Barbara Stanwyck, never better, into murdering her husband. <laughs>